Hello everybody, Dane Reads here, and today I'm going to be doing my October shoutouts. Um, this is probably like the last video that will go live, or one of the last ones that we filmed in this location, which is my current house, but by the time you're watching this, hopefully my old house, so hopefully I'll have a new setup. But anyway, uh, I'm going to shout out 10 booktube channels, links to them all below. Dane Reads. Do check them out. So number one we have Brad Proctor. Brad's a great guy, reads quite a lot of horror. Um, very chilled out channel, um, which tends to be a lot of my favourite channels, are very like just chilled out, sitting down in front of the camera, having a little bit of a chat, and that's what Brad excels at, and like I say, got good taste in horror. Then we have Charles Heathcote, uh, Charlie's a great guy, he's also an indie author, I shout Charlie out all the time, and I'm going to shout him out again. He's currently learning Italian, so we're competing with each other on Duolingo, which is very fun. Um, we don't actually have that much crossover these days in the books that we read, but we did both read uh, On a Distant Shoreline by Sam Reese, which was a very good uh, short story collection recently, and we both enjoyed it. Then we have The Bookish Report, so this is Alex, uh, he's also an author, although I don't think I've read any of his work yet, unfortunately. He mostly specialises in doing like gas lamp uh, fiction, uh, he recently did a great review of uh, Frankenstein, in fact his September was mostly sci-fi September, so uh, do check that out if you've got an interest in sci-fi and or gas lamp fiction. Then we have Kaz from Cats and Camera. Um, she's like the closest thing I have to like a sister on booktube I think. Um, she reads a lot of graphic novels, a lot of stuff with gay, well LGBTQIA plus representation. Um, odd bits of like YA and stuff here and there but again it's normally stuff with representation. Uh, she also has a talented sister called Kay McLeod who uh, is uh, a novelist who again I haven't read any of her work so I need to get to it. Then we have Big Hard Books and Classics, so this is Al. Uh, every now and then we do little collaborations together where we do some music because we both play guitar. Uh, I sing, I think Al sings a few times as well uh, and he plays uh, mouth organ as well. Um, but he also reads a lot of stuff, like I remember he did some stuff on the Dubliners lot, not long ago by James Joyce which was really interesting. So yeah, check, check Al out. Then we have Emma Rosen Books. So Emma is sort of a booktuber slash author tuber. She posts some really good content that, about her like publishing journey and the different platforms she's used and her experience with those and all that kind of stuff. And again, just a very like really nice, nice chilled out person. Then we have Marianne Moronsky. So Marianne started out more as a, a viewer than a creator on booktube, but has since joined the fold. Uh, she had a little break not too long ago and has recently come back, so I've been enjoying checking out her channel again. And she has pets too. Uh, speaking of which, I'm currently stroking my cat, Biggie. He is here to say hello. Then we have Attention. So I think his, his name's like Pi Veo, something like that. I, I'm bad with names. Um, he's been doing some really good Albert Camus stuff recently, so he's been doing like little video essays on different elements of Camus, and I've really got into Camus over the last year, so it's been really good to sort of watch him talking about those and even to pick up books that I know he's going to cover soon so that I can make sure I'm up to date. Then we have Jeremy Fee, uh, he's done a few, at least one Shakespeare video and possibly two or three recently um, that I remember chatting to him on and uh, yeah he's just again a very approachable guy, uh, very good at responding to his comments so um, you know go over to his channel and say hello. And finally we have Say Kevi, so Kevi is a drag queen booktuber and um, well I, I don't know what gender, what pronoun to use here because he doesn't always do drag queens so when he's in drag he's a she and when he's not in drag she's a he or something like that. Uh, big Agatha Christie fan which is always good, um, pretty good taste in books in general but also um, Probably the opposite to a laid-back channel, I guess. I mean, he's not like super shouty and in-your-face and annoying like some booktubers can be. No shade meant to anybody, you know, but um, uh, definitely like high energy levels and stuff. So um, probably a good one to watch if you want to feel enthused about books, you know. So there we have it. Those are my October shout-outs. As always, don't forget to check out the links to the channels below. They're all linked to there. Hit that like button if you've enjoyed this video. Uh, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Let me know in the comments who you've been watching recently. And I will see you soon for another bookish video. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.